Good morning to you. And on the bench today, something else came from China. Looks like a little kit. I can see a chip, but I don't actually, I haven't looked too closely. It came in the bag and I thought, right, okay, let's open it up and see what we've got. Tip it all out. And pull that out. That's just an ordinary diode. So we've got NE555. Ah, right, okay. This is a signal generator. And it gives you a choice of square wave, sawtooth, uh, triangle wave, or sine wave from a single triple five. And I thought it might be a, a little bit of fun, 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 fun to just put together and see how it goes, really. Do I need the instructions? It's actually got a schematic, which is quite useful if you ever want to recreate this. Let's just chuck it together and see what we've got now. It looks like it's been squished in transit. But that's not a problem, is it? Uh, we just have to... 15 minutes later. It's all soldered up. It's all put together. And that's it. It's all done. So thank you very much. You're going to want to see it working, aren't you? <laughs> Damn, I thought I'd get away with it. Right, rather than fire up the big oscilloscope, I thought I'd get the uh, the little cheap Chinese one out, seeing as we're measuring a, a little cheap Chinese circuit here. So let me just uh, get it ready to power up. Right, okay, so here we are on the little Chinese screen. And at the moment we're set to square wave. And as you can see, we are getting a sort of square wave out of it. Now, I believe this is the output level. Yep. So there's the square wave. You can see it's triggering without measuring frequencies or what have you. Then that is generating a nice little square. If I take that off and plug it onto there, we're getting the classic sawtooth. If we move it over, we should get triangle. Let's put some output on it. It's not locking up, so I need to. We're getting a triangle there. Let's see if I can get it to lock up. We're getting the tri triangle without messing about. I could switch it over. There we go. Put it onto a lower scale times one. So there you are. You're getting the triangle waveform. Again, we can vary it. Now, this isn't the best scope in the world, I'll be honest. It's cheap and cheerful. I think it was uh, £15 as a kit, and you put it together, and you even got the plastic box. So the last one to try now is the sine wave. Now, this is the telling one. How good a sine wave are we going to get? And looking at that, can I take it? No, that's too high. But if I do a times two, no, still too much. I can drop the output down a bit. We're actually getting a very clean sine wave out of it. So I'm not complaining about this little kit at all. And it just goes to show that you don't need vast amounts of expensive signal generators to to build some basic test equipment if you just need to put a sine wave in for a general cheap and cheerful signal generator that will give you a test signal there you go uh, i'm going to put the circuit diagram here i'll zoom in for anybody who wants to copy that circuit diagram i'll leave it on the screen for a little bit That's the little baby signal generator board from China for very cheap. Build it. Doesn't take very long. Even if you work on the principle of throw it together, it's going to work as I tend to do with these cheap Chinese kits. And I'll, I'll look at them afterwards if they don't. Throw it together. It works. Solder it up. And 
you can use you know your your output signal to just generate uh, your frequencies there so here i am without the glasses i can't see but i'm going to ask you to click the like and the subscribe button and hopefully you will it'd be really nice if you could you might enjoy the other videos i've produced there's a few coming up that will be quite interesting please click the bell icon that way at least you will get the notifications for every video i put up they're not all as basic as this trust me and yeah leave comments if you like what you see if there are any modifications you'd like me to do to the circuit, um, I can try them out. There's no harm in trying anything. After all, anything can be a smoke machine if you drive it hard enough. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.